How's it going, everybody? John Barron here with the Ohio State Bar Association, and I am joined with President John Holshue. President, thank you so much for uh, sitting down with me, first of all. Thanks, John. Pleasure to be here. Yeah. Now, first of all, I would really like to congratulate you on uh, becoming president. Well, thank you. It's the uh, highest honor and the, uh, the uh, pinnacle of my career so far, and I'm extremely honored to become president of the Ohio State Bar Association. Yeah. How's it, how's it feel? Um, a little, a little intimidating right now. Uh, we've got phenomenal presidents uh, before me, uh, and to follow in their footsteps is going to be a challenge. But I think I'm up to it. And uh, along with the great staff that we have here at the Ohio State Bar Association, I'm sure we're going to do some wonderful things in the upcoming year. Absolutely. Yeah, you have some big shoes to fill uh, with uh, Martin E. Moeller. But uh, he was a great president. But something tells me you're going to be able to fill those shoes. Uh, Literally and, uh, figurative <laughs> and figuratively speaking. Well, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. <laughs> so at convention, uh, while you're giving your speech, you talked about some topics that you would like to address here, some goals here at the OSBA. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us like, what can we look forward uh, moving sure. towards the future? Sure. Yeah, the one thing that I'm very interested in uh, is helping the young lawyers of the profession. Uh, when I was campaigning for president-elect of the Ohio State Bar Association, uh, I talked to a number of the young lawyers that attended the convention, and it became obvious, abundantly clear that uh, young lawyers out there need help, uh, they need assistance, uh, and the Ohio State Bar Association is the perfect organization to help them in their professional and personal career. Um, the, the one thing is that this is a new generation, we all know, uh, with technology, uh, with uh, the new millennium. Uh, and one thing that we have learned here at the bar is that we have to reach out to them. They're not going to come running to us unless we can show them the relevance of becoming members of the association. Uh, and the benefits of joining this association from obviously the networking, which I think is absolutely imperative and critical, uh, along with all the benefits that members get, case maker, uh, all the different on-site, uh, online uh, communities that we've established. Uh, really uh, allows the Ohio State Bar Association to become a home for young lawyers in their profession and allows them to connect, advance, and succeed. <laughs> awesome. There we That's go. That's great. So we'll be uh, focusing a lot on the, the next generation. That, yes. And also the second part, there's actually three parts. The second part I want to focus on is the access to justice or mm -hmm. providing uh, legal services to those who can't afford it in civil matters, such as foreclosures. Uh, child custody disputes, domestic violence, uh, things along those lines. Um, I've said this before, but uh, Legal Aid has closed four offices in the last two years here in Ohio. They've la laid off 120 lawyers, and at the same time, the need for legal representation or legal assistance has increased. So we need to work together uh, with the Supreme Court, with the legislature, with Washington, D.C., uh, to increase funding uh, and also think outside the box of creative ways that we can uh, focus on providing uh, legal services and yes, legal representation to those folks who need it. And finally... There was a third topic. There was a third All topic. Right. I always do things in threes. <laughs> the third topic is advocating for our profession. Uh, the, we have an excellent working relationship with the Chief Justice of the Ohio Supreme Court as well as the other justices. Uh, we have a very good working relationship, thanks to Bill Weisenberg and Todd Book with the legislature. Uh, and we have a good working relationship with the media here in Ohio. Uh, we need to continue to advocate for our profession. Anytime an issue comes up, such as sales tax on legal services, we need to take the lead as we have in the past and as we are doing now to make sure that the rights uh, of our profession uh, and the interests of our profession are protected. Uh, uh, here in Ohio. Well, there we have. We're going to be focusing on the next generation, legal services, and advocating for the profession. There you go. Who better to do it than yourself? Well, I'm going to do my best. And we are all excited here at the Bar Association to have you involved and be working and leading this association. Yeah. Again, it's truly, <laughs> truly my honor, and uh, you know, I sincerely, really look forward to working with the people here at the bar. Uh, they just, I've been very fortunate for three years on the Board of Governors, one year as president-elect to get to know the staff and the people here at the bar and hands down, top drawer. Well, and President Holshue, we are excited and we are looking forward to the future with you as our leader. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Awesome.